Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be building a massive landing for the Mega Drop and testing all the features leading up to it. First thing today is just clear off the trail. There's quite a bit of stuff that's down. I got most of it already, just these last few pieces. And then we're going to test the first little speed gap right here. Haven't done it yet. It felt like it would be a reach with where it's at right now um, based on the original run-in, but that was like over a month ago. That's pretty packed in now. So I'm hoping I can reach to this landing here. And if that's good to go, then we can test the next section. Hopefully this goes nice and smooth. And then the next feature is the speed scrub roller. It's pretty steep, so I'm hoping it'll slow me down, especially if this jump here is faster than it looks. I think it might be when it dries up even more and hardens and runs quick. It's kind of a reach right now, at least it looks like it. We'll find out real soon here. And then you get tons of momentum once you get onto the backside of this roller again. You're into a pretty wide open area a low fast jump right here and then you're into the setup for the mega drop so it happens really quick everything is so compact together it's pretty gnarly pretty intense and i have filled in any low spots or compressions on the run-in for the mega drop here it's gonna have a pretty heavy hitting landing it feels like unless i can get a lot steeper than the hill is naturally and for that reason i want to be as dialed on my setup as possible before i fly off this thing I wanna make sure all the compressions are good to go and there's nothing weird. So one thing I've been doing is just filling in dirt around the roots. There's still a few low spots, like right here. Looks pretty low, that might throw me off. It might be a bit sketchy. We'll find out really quick here. Uh, yeah, so that's kinda of my goal. I wanna test the run in and then we're gonna get into digging on the big drop landing. But first of all, let's gear up and hike the bike to the top. It's so my first time up here in a while. I'm hoping that speed gap after the S turn works for us try and we can just get straight into figuring out how to make this run in as good as possible. Okay, you ready? Chillin'. Chillin'. <laughs> Way less speed than I thought I needed, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because there's not really any pop to that jump. So even as things harden, and get faster i can just cut the lip back a bit and scrub my speed so i'm stoked on that the next thing here is just to session this roller a little bit more and the run in for the mega drop with the little low gap into it and see how those compressions feel yeah i can't believe that i landed like a full wheel length or more down that landing so i didn't even snipe it i went pretty deep yeah that's cool that's a that's like a really easy thing to fix too like i said if i need to make this bigger i can just have the lip end like right here instead of there and that would be sweet. It would be like right out of the corner too so you don't have a lot of opportunity to gain extra speed out of the turn. That might be the move if it becomes too easy of an overshoot. Scrub speed! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that comes up so close. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that like one or two more times. It's so fast, you're like in the air, then you're on the edge of this. That's intense. Way more intense than it looks because you're just like floating, skipping above the forest floor. Gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that running is throwing me off a little bit. I do want to just make it a little more carefree. It's pretty intense, so any of these little compressions around the roots here are throwing me off a little bit. It's also like a pretty deep compression right before the takeoff there. So I think what I'll do is just keep adding dirt. These roots are way too big to cut out. We'll definitely damage these big trees. So now I'll do some rock stacking to elevate things, some dirt on top, level out everything, smooth out the grade of this run in and then start attacking the landing zone. And that's it for testing today because I'm way too excited to keep building and keep powering through this. So let's get into the build options.
I'm already a couple days into this landing. It's an insane grind. I just need to keep stacking dirt on the riders left here, thicken everything, cover up the boulders, and then have the bottom aimed more to the right. Let's go. Despite a ton of wishful thinking, this massive boulder behind me here is not gonna move. And what that means is I need to add a lot more dirt to the rider's left to bury that rock and get the landing at the right angle. Even if this could move, there's really nowhere for it to go and it's just so huge. So we're just gonna have to keep going. The grind has gotten even gnarlier. Terrifying, that is the one word I would use to describe this thing. It is not small, this thing is large. And what's crazy is there is still a lot of dirt I need to put on the riders left of this landing so I can start berming it out and having it gradually taper into a big S turn to catch my speed before those big trees at the bottom of the hill. What else is crazy is that, to give you some context, approximately 10 seconds of time-lapse footage is one hour of work. On average, I'm doing just over an hour at a time and taking breaks in between, and that gives me around 12 seconds. So yeah, this is a lot of dirt moving in the last week and a half. And one way you know this thing is big is because the lining actually looks pretty small from up here. But the lining is huge from down here. I'll run to the top so you can see how small I am. Already, this landing is like five or six bike lengths long and it's only gonna get longer as I keep adding dirt to the side of it and banking it out and eventually having it transition into a berm. This whole thing is so insane. There's no way for me to convey it on video properly. Maybe the drone angles help, but 
Yeah, it's, it's really long. It's gonna be really big. It will be great because I want a huge landing and this will definitely be that. The only thing is, I'm so far away from being able to ride this still. There's a lot of dirt to move. Like, if you look here, like that's a nice natural big dirt pocket. And that's just like one tiny patch of dirt out of the like times a hundred that I will need. And realistically, I want to get this bottom part elevated like another foot or so and then maybe another two feet in the corner here so that it can be banked out and aim me far away from the pit down here or the big gully down here and then we got to find lots of dirt for a berm and a run out and it's gonna be a lot of work I'm guessing like probably a week straight of just eight hour days out here to get this testable. So that is where we're at. In the next video, I will have enough time lapses in there that this will be at the point of being testable. So I'm just gonna grind really hard to get this ready to go. I'll get some extra help and then we're gonna get this done. And I want to give you a sneak peek right now of what's coming after the drop. So if you look around me, we have a nice big wide open mossy forest. It's so good. And the S-turn will shoot me somewhere out where I am here. And we just have like amazing open steep terrain that dips in towards the gully. And you might have guessed it, but at the bottom of that gully is the mega step up. So this will all link together eventually and be an epic line. It's gonna be so sick. Okay, so that's it for the video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. See you later everyone. Thanks again. Peace.